I was living at my parents' acreage and our dog had passed away. Um, so Kelsey and I were dating at the time and she wanted to get me another dog. Kind of told her some of the breeds I liked and she just looked in the paper and found Rocky and he was kind of crossbred between a couple of the breeds. There was one pup left, I think. It was a black uh, Husky Lab. So we brought him to my mom and dad's to see him. He came over and he was you know, just little and he came in the house, he was running around everywhere and just seemed like kind of full of life, like, you know, not shy, nothing like that, right? So I liked him right off the hop. He's definitely Adam's dog. He's very smart. He's quick to learn and um, I'd say he's fairly fearless for sure. I guess he's kind of everything that you'd really want in a dog. He's pretty wonderful in that kind of sense. Last spring, Adam and I had been trying to do a hiking whenever we could. We were training to go on a, a bigger hike in the summer. It kind of warmed up a little bit and it was kind of this time of year, spring, so we thought we'd get out for a little family walk. So we took the kids and drove down and got them out and we'd had a full day. And we were coming back and the kids were sleeping, so we decided to walk out on the walking bridge, kind of get a nice view of the river and stuff like that. We started to hear something and at first it sounded like just kids yelling and playing. It was windy that day and um, her and her friend were wearing hats and it, her hat flew onto the ice and Samara thought she'd go and get it. We were reaching and then the ice cracked and then we fell through. Then I realized it was underneath me so I looked down and we could see the one little girl splashing around and her sister was screaming at the edge. I just told Adam to go. Kelsey called 911 and I just kind of grabbed Rocky and took off, thought we'd go down and try to help him somehow. So I had the kids in the stroller and Adam was running. You know, I knew it didn't have a lot of time, so I started running kind of as fast as I could. The little girl who was on the edge fell through the ice too. But she had managed to like stay where she was, hang onto the ice. So I just kind of let Rocky off his leash and he was running out in front of me just to see how the ice was. He ran right up to the little girl and turned around, so I knew it was probably pretty solid. So I started running out and uh, I, was, I managed to walk right up to her and grab her. He told me to stay away from the ice and go onto the shoreline. You know, she was screaming that her sister was floating away kind of thing, so. At that point, I told dispatch, 911 dispatch, that there was one girl out and the other one, I couldn't see her anymore. Me and Rocky just started to run down the ice because I could see the little girl in the distance, right? As we started to get close, I was yelling at her like to try to grab onto the ice, right? Like, I was like, can you swim to the edge? Can you swim to the edge? I stayed away from the ice because I didn't want to go under anymore. We got pretty close at one point and I thought I could throw the leash out so I was trying to chuck the leash to her and when I was doing that then the ice broke through and me and Rocky fell in. I didn't know where Adam was and I was trying to, I was kind of caught up in chaos at that point on. Tried to get back on the edge and it was kept breaking and breaking and breaking. So he had his front paws up on it and I managed to push his back end up and then I kind of grabbed him like on his neck and it kind of pulled me up a little bit and got up onto the edge, right? I turned around to see where she was and I couldn't see her, like she was gone kind of thing. So I thought, you know, it was, it was over kind of. I couldn't see the little girl anymore and then she'd pop up and she'd go down. And then she'd pop back up and was screaming again. And so I just thought, you know, maybe I'll get Rocky to jump in and she could grab a hold of him, right? I ran past her and I told Rocky to jump in. She was screaming so he naturally just kind of swam towards her. As he got close, she managed to grab hold of his leash like first try. And I told her like, hang on really tight and I just called him and he just turned around and just started swimming back. Then I walked out and I grabbed him and her at the same time and pulled him out. I could see Adam looked like he was carrying her up. When we got to the edge where we were, it was just like a straight cliff, right? Right up to the walking path. The firefighters rescue team, both of them, were kind of coming from different directions. Some of them had rode across in a, a raft. So we just sat down and I had a fairly heavy jacket on so I kind of wrapped her in that jacket and Rocky just sat down beside us so he was putting off a lot of heat too and eventually the rescue team came. It was pretty dire because like I said she had been in the water so long right she was really really cold and like in a pretty bad state of hypothermia. The doctor told her mom that if she was in the water for one minute longer she wouldn't have made it because she was that hypothermic. Right away like her mom and uh, her dad were pretty emotional, you know, giving Rocky big pets and hugs to me and stuff like that. So obviously, they know the severity of the situation, what would have happened if we weren't around. So, of course, they're like very grateful, right? I am as grateful as any mother would be and, and beyond. I was so thankful. I was so happy that he actually saved her. Rocky definitely showed uh, bravery and courage. He didn't have to be coaxed, convinced or anything to go in. He listens to me, right? So I knew if I told him to do something that he'd trust me and he just did it without even thinking, right? So it was good. I'm very proud that Rocky's being inducted into the Purina Animal Hall of Fame. It's very wonderful that people want to recognize Rocky for his heroism and 
for his bravery and this is an incredible honor and a very big deal that he gets to be part of this. To me, he's our angel. He's a rescue dog who saved our lives.